Right on, guys. Let's get into it. Unboxing time. Yet again. Join us here. Live. Not live. Live. I guess we're live. We're not scripted. We're definitely unscripted. Unprofessional. But we got cool fish. Silver sharks. Very chunky. Very nice looking. Sometimes they come in and especially at that size they can be a bit sunken in on the belly there as well. A1 job. These ones are awesome. Okay. Then we have got an assortment of male baiters. So a few different types there as well. I do believe we might have I got crown tails and I do believe we've got some other cool ones poking around in here as well. Which is uh, leads into our perfect example of where we have moved our fighting fish over here actually, well our baiters. I've got this stuff called fighting fish baiters. So yeah, we uh, moved the shop around and now these guys are in the fish room rather so we kind of had them jammed in between our reptiles because when we first set up the extension we didn't have that much reptiles and then reptiles went boom. So we do it all. And we decided let's just rearrange everything because that'd be fun. Okay. Silver dollars. Beautiful dither fish. Uh, doesn't really get eaten by much at all. No, they can take a pound in from other fish and still keep on kicking on. So really good fish if you've got uh, Oscars, American cichlids, and uh, they will kind of encourage those fish to come out a little bit more as well. That's what the dither fish purpose is there as well. They're not going to attack anything. They're just going to kind of swim around and just going to like, yeah, do their thing. By the tetras, more size, a bit bigger than I was expecting, which is awesome. And then we have got some uh, gold honey guamis there as well. So they've been really popular for us. I actually prefer them over the dwarf guamis. I find that they don't get the uh, bacterial infections, which the dwarf guamis are a lot more prone to getting. Oh, one more bag. No misting. These are Pristilla tetras. Definitely an underrated tetra. Uh, not much to really say. I, they just kind of do their tetra thing, spinning around. Spinning. Tetras. Tetras do. Okay. Alright. Now these ones are cool. These are our female twin tail uh, beta fish there as well. So you can see they've kind of got like the V going on in their tail. Keep an eye out for these guys at the end of the video when we actually get them in the tank. That one's a little cutie. So yeah, some female twin tails. And then we've got another lot there. And one more there. And one more there. Okay, we've got a few of these, okay? <laughs> so I've got all the missing around. No, no. Let's see what else we're talking about. Uh, white widow tetras, uh, similar to the black widow tetras, uh, just a uh, leucistic version of the black widow tetra, I do believe. Oh, I think so. Uh, yeah, another cool fish. Um, I guess these would be classed as dither fish for, say, angelfish tanks and large fish where like silver sharks, things like that, where they kind of do sometimes get a little bit robust with each other. These guys will swim around, keep them all occupied, doing their thing. Uh, Molly's been coming through really great at the moment, so we got some beautiful silver mollies there. And then you can see some other colours packed on there. We have a bit of a mixture of some black ones, and see some really big females in there, so they're looking good. And uh, cherry shrimp, usual cherry shrimps. We sell hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shrimp. So we've got reds, blues and yellows. So yeah, that's awesome. Makes the tanks, you've got to buy so many cherry shrimp to make the tank look even more remote people. That's the problem with the cherry shrimp. Uh, not really a problem. Everyone knows I like to buy lots of stuff. So yeah. Whoa, they are some of the biggest Ortigonous catfish I have ever seen. They are some absolute tanks in there at the moment. So yeah, they're looking really good. Hopefully they settle well. Um, yeah, great size autos. So absolutely huge. For a tiny fish, absolutely huge. And then we have some more rainbow fish here. These are your Goida River Rainbow. So yeah, beautiful colours on there as well. Uh, males generally are the nicer out of the rainbows. I uh, saw a video the other day of these guys and there was some absolute stonkers adults that someone had like in their hands and they were like really, really bloody nice looking fish. Let's keep on, let's keep on going. We're going to, that was north side. We are going to get into a Prime Industries. We have sort of female guppies, 
not much to really rave about there, apart from like those more guppies in our guppy system. And then we have assorted male guppies there as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Color wise, yeah, they're looking good health wise. Oh, there. What have we done here? Well, we scored. Instead of male guppies, they sent us male assorted endless. So obviously, we must have got the work experience kid who's collecting fish. But that's all right. We can make do. We sell work endless guppies as well. So yeah, it's not that bad. So we have a mixture of males and assorted um, guppies and assorted endless. Right, we haven't had these guys in for a long time. So these guys are your Borneo suckers. So very cool looking loach. Uh, got different patterns on there. You can see what one's one got more of a spotty one, that one's more got a stripe on there. We've definitely got some wild sizes coming in there. We have some absolutely huge ones and then some little baby ones like that. So these guys generally like uh, faster flowing waters. Lots of, lots of oxygen in the water. Also, they generally like the water a little bit cooler. So if you can, try and keep it a little bit cooler. Where they come from is uh, faster flowing river streams, so the things there as well. That's why they have that little suction type of mouth on there as well and uh, so it's generally a cooler type of environment. A few more of these black rams. So they were pretty popular last week and they sent us some really good ones again. So yeah, pretty good with that. Oh, these guys look absolutely awesome. So these are some more Madoka white lips. So they didn't have many left and I uh, wasn't too sure on the sizes, but I'm extremely happy with those as well. I have a look down here while we're going up. This is like stands out every time I look at his tank. You miss that. Look at those white lips on there as well. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, uh, I do. Uh, they are African cichlid. I should have mentioned that there as well. Uh, can't really pronounce the word. Maybe it's Cyprinus. Like very close to the uh, no, maybe they're a plus of the chromis, like the like moons, yeah, yeah. No, no. scientific names. Google really handy these things, okay. Sort of female guppies and a couple more of these white little gogos. So, I do believe I've got 10 in total. Whoa, this invoice is going to be expensive, okay. That's all right, but these guys are totally worth it because we can't really get them like all the time of year, so that's for sure. They only pop up every now and then. Brown has been asking for eel tail catfish, so we have got a nice selection. We've got 10 of these bad boys in at the moment, so great to go in with your barras and things like that there as well. And uh, neon tetras. Now, there must be another north side. There's a, I was going to say, there's some fish missing from the north side that I want. We've got another north side around here. I've got another a giant beta in there as well. Um, now, I did not, that one could be the female, I do believe, and this one is going to be the male. Check them out. Holy crap, they are good looking. So, we have got a male and a female of the uh, giant betas in at the moment as well. So, and they, um, I mean, I thought the female looked good, but then when you see the male, so yeah, so if anyone is, uh, is um, wants to have a crack at breeding them, We've got two there as well. Uh, these guys are looking great at the moment. These cherry barbs, check out the colours on there. They're some of the better ones we've had in for a while. I did get some off another supplier. And they I normally bag out at the end of the week when they send me not many fish. And they were like nowhere near as colourful as what these ones are. So cool beans. Archer fish, back in season for some reason. So yeah, another cool fish there as well. Long fin gold zebra danios. Then oh, I must have ordered two pairs. Because hey, I don't even keep track sometimes. There's another female there as well. The females you, you can generally, I'm assuming it's a female. I've seen a lot of uh, betas over the time. You can only just tell after a while, but they do have a white dot underneath them as well, which is I don't know if it's their X tube. Yeah. That kind of protrudes out there as well. So you can normally check with that there as well, but again, after a while, once you've seen a couple of trillion fish like I have, you just kind of can look at them and go, oh yeah, that's going to be a mark. Whoa. You definitely bought more than one okay. pair. So yeah, so we This we is can... called Joel Math. Okay, Let's so buy we... one and have ten turn up. <laughs> yeah, so Kim's just bagging me up there. So just, if you can't hear on the mic, seven the wings, she always complains that I buy too many fish. So write down in the comments whether she's right or wrong. 
okay? Because we all want to see you hoots and fish. So yeah, we got uh, we got a few pairs. Okay, I don't even know how many I ordered. Anyway, okay, there's another one. Holy moly, they just keep on coming out. Um, <laughs> please don't be more. <laughs> yep, there's another one. So yeah, we got a few pairs in there as well. So, uh, hey. Oh, look at that one. They are okay. They yeah. look good. Okay, they, look, they, they do look good. They are, <laughs> they are stunning looking fish. I'm not going to complain. Okay, and we have got some more beautiful gold mollies. We have more of those uh, gold honey guamis. We have more of these red cap albinos or kahuka sawtails. The, it's weird, the last time we got a batch of those in there, we had terrible success with them. Like, you know, we just couldn't keep them going. They got skinny, they got ratty. These ones here have been absolutely gunning. So Brent said, get some more in, and I'm happy to oblige. You tell me to buy some more fish, I'm not going to say no. Okay, and then some more uh, zebra deniers there as well. I think the last ones they had were got long fin leopards, and these are long fin zebras. But anyway, long fin barrio. A couple of boxes left to get to the end. Hey, well, you know, more babies. Okay. So, yeah, more babies in there as well. So, we've got a good selection going on there. So that's going to keep it very busy, make that rack look really good. I've got to change, change the transformers on those lights, but because they're crap and they keep them breaking, so we get that. Yeah, it's got some monster rummy noses. I know they had some show size ones they were trying to flog off, and I kept them thinking uh, no, but it looks like they've just chucked it in with their assorted rummy noses in this, so you, you're having them for that price. So. We have some really extra large rummy noses in at the moment as well, so. Hopefully they have shipped well. The only concern, the reason why I didn't buy them is because I was worried that they weren't going to ship well. But that one, they had one in the bag, but the others look like they're pretty good. Sort of male guppy, sort of male guppy, and neons. It's a nice easy one to print. There we go. This one's a different bag, see what's in the line. Okay. Well, this is another one. This is going to be some pairs of elephant ear. So. Magano red elephant ear pair guppies. So we normally don't get the females in the elephant ears at all, so I thought we would get some. I don't know if that's the females and males in the same bag there. I'll probably have to have a different look. How many did I order? Four. One, two. They're going to be the males. So they're going to be all the males. So cute one. So we'll keep on digging until we find the females. Then we have some also some just red mosaic elephant ear guppies or Dumbo ear guppies. I mean, they, they look good. They've got some nice tails on there. Really beautiful fish. Uh, oh, these ones look good as well. Oh, great. Turquoise rainbows. Oh, they've been coming in a bit skinny, but these guys are looking bad. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Some more white liquid doggles. Joel, Joel Maths again. Joel Maths. I'm happy with them. <laughs> um, and these ones. Uh, these are a special order for a customer. I don't know how many you're going to take, so I just got four of them in. These are your Princess Cichlid or your Brashardi. They're a Lake Tankaniki Cichlid. Um, get quite large. Get these vicious bangs on them. Like, it's crazy when you see them like that there as well. Um, beautiful colony fish. Like, so, I remember seeing a YouTube video, a shop over in Japan. They had, like, 30 years I had this tank set up with them in there. And it had probably about 50 of them in there. And it was just such a cool, like, from babies to huge. And, such a cool tank to this thing. Oh, I'll never forget that tank. Okay. Female guppies. Uh, more of these big rummy noses. They are really big. They do look really nice, but I mean, they shipped. They have shipped well. I'll give them that. Like they haven't really died or anything like that. They haven't like crashed down on the bag. Yep, that's another good one. So I guess they didn't pack them too jammed up together. So that was a bonus. So. Great size for our you know what, we're going to keep that the same price. I mean, if we get a deal, I get a, you guys get a deal. So yeah, so I'm not going to jag up the price on those ones. Okay. Neons, uh, more of these Borneo scooters. Again, we can only get these a couple of times a year, so we just thought, I'll just load up on them. They are cool. These guys do like to eat bloodworm. They're not like an aggie eater. They are more of a protein-based eater there as well. More like a leech than anything I guess you'd say. And uh, yeah, very cool fish. Now size-wise, I think the biggest I've seen is probably about that. Mm. I wouldn't say I'm an expert on there. Like I know there's a few different varieties of uh, these type of like yeah, leeches there as well. Um, but yes. These guys are disappointing. What size is this? Five centimeters. Go back to school, son. 
Now Aurelius barbs, I was hoping they were going to be a lot more better than what they are because they've got to look a bit bigger before they actually show their colours and look great. So anyway, we can't win them all. Can't win them all. Uh, we've got more happy to Okay, all those rummy noses there. Brent. Okay, then we have Fusion Pumpkins and Assorted Arandas. Mm -hmm. oh, hey. I wouldn't say they're setting the world on fire with these assorted arandas. There's not much of a win on there. So we'll see how we go with those. Not looking that great with this, but we'll delve deeper. Let's we'll see if we can find. Uh, so shabunkins, shabunkins. Beautiful. We are starting to warm up in our climate here. It's starting to get warm, which means the pond season is just, just around the corner. You can feel it. You can feel people. And we are loaded up. We have big pond filters. We have like lots of. Uh, you know, we've expanded our range in ponds in anticipation of this being a ripper of a pond season. Okay, these ones are going to be the females of those elephant ears. So yes, you can definitely see they have a bigger uh, pectoral fins on there. One's got a crooked back, so we won't be selling that fella. Thanks very much yes. for that. <laughs> okay, so we have three pairs available and one extra male. So that's a bit of a shame. Ah, what would you... Why would anyone just not cull their fish? Anyway, well that sounds rude. Well, ideally, we definitely shouldn't breed off that. In saying that, if you breed guppies, they have so many babies that you inevitably get ones with crooked spines on there and you do have to either pop them in another tank or uh, fish eat fish. We have got some more beautiful panda arandos. So these guys, their yeah, the wings not there that much, but the colours are absolutely striking on those. So one thing to note with the panda goldfish is you want to get them big like that. If you buy a little small ones, nine out of ten, they seem to change colours once they start getting a bit bigger, and you can avoid disappointment. That's why we never get really any five centimeter ones in. Okay, we have some uh, black spot filament barbs. These guys are slowly grabbing a bit of traction in the shop here. Brent's been pushing them pretty hard and they are great not a dither fish. Neons and rummy noses. I'm out. I'm out. Let's get them done. This is a long unboxing. All the fish turned up all at once. Now we are coming to the end. At some point. Now this one in the next, 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 next part of the video is going to be very marine focused. So we have got some... Uh, which one was this? I remember looking it up there as well. Masked rabbit fish. So yeah, great for algae in your marine tank. Rabbit fish are an absolutely awesome algae eater. Bear in mind, they do have venomous spines on there. I don't think it's gonna kill you. I think you'll feel sore, but yeah. Okay, we have a beautiful chocolate mimic tank. Another beautiful uh, marine fish there as well. These are not marines, but these guys look good. Pretty happy with them. They're your coolie loaches. Let's go farm them off. We have got another half black angel fish in there. This is a marine fish there as well. I'm going to pop all the marines over here so they don't get lost. Yeah, even though no one's going to. We know our fish. We're not going to put the marines in the sun. Fresh water. Then we have got. Oh, ooh, this is cool. And he looks really good. This is a spotted leperinus. So, leperinus fish are uh, in the Amazon. You get a striped and you get a spotted. I prefer the striped. Brent prefers the spotted. Um, Again, they like eating algae wafers, just an unusual fish to have in there. You will find they go well with the larger cichlids because they are not a cichlid. They I would class them probably more as a tetra, almost, you know, or a bar. They're just yeah. going to kind of do their own thing. You should just get one. They don't play nice with each other, generally. Mm. Okay. We have got uh, Sahab Dodi back. Uh, that looks cool. Mm. We'll see what that one looks like when we get settled. And a black ghost knife fish. Okay. Oh, that's a shame one of them didn't make it, but these ones are your albino probensis. So uh, these are uh, classes of the Riverina cichlid, come from Africa. Um, you get a lot of different varieties. I can't pronounce the, uh, they put the scientific name, it's like a pill for, uh, I wish it could speak Latin, it would make life easier. Then we have a little hogfish, so cute little fish. Um, I like the hogfish, this is a, a coral hogfish. So looking pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And little knifefish. Mm -hmm. And I do believe 
think we have got clownfish, clownfish, then we have a, uh, a black belly brucera uh, trigger fish, which is similar to the uh, Picasso trigger. Clownfish, clownfish, and so they're black and white clownfish. And then we have a little scissor tail goby. He doesn't look very well. He looks very skinny. See if I can cardinal tetra. There we go. Took me a minute to get there, but that's what we got. Cardinal tetras, surface tetras. I love the, the surface. They can get a little bit nippy, but I don't know. And then we have got some big old shavankins. Not as big as I was hoping, but bigger than what we've been getting. And some assorted alandas from Bayfish there as well, Premier Pet, which have a better win on there as well. So yeah, so pretty good there as well. So. Cool, happy days. Uh, on another note, we had some awesome trade-ins over the weekend there as well. We've got like some more larger gold severance and we will be shifting some of them on there as well because we do have a big, pretty big population going on. We've got some beautiful Senegal Vaishas come through there as well. Nice size, so they're looking really good there as well. Um, my psychopathic discus is still going really well in this tank there, so that's been happy days. We are, I am on the hunt for more discus. We are pretty low at the moment, but we're getting there. And we also did get some royal whip tails as well. Brent, where did they end up? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, go over look. It's down here. Yeah, so, so, oh yeah, here we go, they're looking really good. Some royal whip tails down in there as well. So these, oh, here we go, up the corner here. Beautiful local bred royal whip tails. Um, we have another big shipment of uh, blue mysteries and purple mystery snails come through. Fantastic price, 15 bucks. So come down and get your snail fixed. They are looking mint, so yeah. And um, I think... That's, I think we got some albino bristle noses, long green bristle noses, maybe a few other little bits and bobs. But I think that's gonna do it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you like and subscribe, and I will see you next week.